For me, the internet is um, a virtual space in which people toil together alone. Um, they work together uh, separately. And I'm intrigued by what I think of as kind of like ambient awareness, your awareness that things are going on, but it's not a direct causal thing. When there's a lot of little kids and they're very young to the point at which they barely know their toes exist, let alone that there's another human next to them and that the human is somehow different from the sand that they're all in at that moment. Um, those little kids respond differently when they're around this peer group in, in, in presence of each other, doing things even though they may only interact when they kind of accidentally stumble into each other um, or reach for the same toy at the same time. But parallel play is what it's called when they're playing together but not together. Um, it's a really exciting phase for, for development and I don't think it goes away. I think the only thing that goes away is our comfort with it. Disquiet Yunto Project 27. Texting. Please copy the instructions to this project and save them as a text file. You will then open that file in one or more pieces of audio processing software. The resulting sound will serve as the foundation of your track. You can only use the sounds resulting from the text file in the process of making your track. You can manipulate the sounds and you can use multiple versions that result from different pieces of software, but you cannot add any other sounds. Echo Relocation. Record someone else's field recording of their environment playing within your own. This quiet Hunto project number 212. 484 Hertz love songs. The assignment, make music intended to attract male mosquitoes. Disquiet Junto Project 0506, Wipeout. 
take something whole and erase half of it. For me, it's a community art practice. In what ways is the junto like a classroom? Both challenge you to explore areas of your art that you would not normally inhabit. Phrase shift. Make music in a sequence of parts with shared elements. The Disquiet Hunto offers three sort of aspects that I think are quite important. The first is a direction, because uh, Brian Eno had the idea that any creative project need to outline the constraints, and this kind of like helps focus in on what you're going to achieve. And the second is a time frame. Duke Ellington famously said, I don't need time, I need a deadline. And that's my feeling that particularly uh, in the past when I was, wasn't working, you know, having a deadline really helped focus and make things happen. And the third part is the community because you do get that feedback from people, but you also get to see how other people approach the project and that kind of expands your creative horizons. So I'm really grateful for the Disquiet Hunto being part of my life and creative practice. It's only fair, right? Like I'm putting this great constraint on people each week by saying you need to make music with the sound of, you know, one room in your house, or you need to um, interpret this Morse code as a composition. That's a pretty serious request on my part that that they do something. So to me, it's 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 a nice balance that I have no control over what happens after that, right? I myself lose control because I'm saying, you know, whatever your response is becomes part of this community. Um, and there's going to be outliers and people who test it and 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 there's always people who misread whether purposely or not the instructions but i like that to me that's a balance i am telling people you don't have full control because you're being told what to do and in res in return i don't have full control over what the responses are um, which is to say it's not chaos but it's it's a balance i, I think that's exciting a lot of the hunter projects involve everyday sound as what what they're about and, and it's the case but i hadn't really thought about it until then um, but more broadly that even the projects that don't involve everyday sound are still really engaged with just everyday experience you know it's quite likely i'll read a description in a novel or a reader or a participant will get in touch and say you know this is an idea i came across so it's very much about processing the everyday and seeing what results in the form of sound the idea of the junta was, well, if music is a universal language, then how can we get people to respond to compositional prompts and have a conversation through sound rather than talking about it? Like, I love talking about music, as you can tell. I, I kind of just shoot out paragraphs at a time in response to your questions and hope that you can edit them down later so that they're consumable by other people. But the, but the, the idea is that um, rather than having three musicians discuss some concept, why don't you just have them make music in response to the concept? And maybe they'll talk about it later on, but more likely being musicians, that'll sit in the back of their imaginations and down the road they'll make another piece of music that responds to something. And so it is a conversation, but it's one in which um, words are deprioritized um, in favor of sound. It's said that there's two different types of teachers. There's people who know everything and then share it. And there's people who know what they want to learn and use teaching as a way to learn it. And that, that's the camp I fall into. Um, I'm not even actually sure in the, the first camp exists because no one actually knows everything, but there's a certain type of teacher who certainly seems to think they know everything. And, um, and so I, um, I, I find that the people who use Hunto products in their own teaching embrace the same sort of enthusiasm for the unexpected. You know, they, they don't know what their students are going to respond with. 
to the point where not, they don't even know how their students are going to respond to the idea of these free-form um, constraints that, that make you actually sometimes wonder what the heck's going on.